Hello, and welcome to this ArtCam 2012 video tutorial highlighting the Transform tool. I have imported two clip arts from the extensive ArtCam library. Firstly, the Egyptian god Anubis, and secondly, a horse. My aim is by the end of this tutorial to have Anubis standing on the horse's back. In order to do this, I will need to make full use of the Transform tool. In order to activate the Transform tool, I must first select the clip art. To do this, click on the boundary of the clip art. Or, with some graphics cards, you can also simply click on the clip art itself. Have a play around and see whether you can do this on your computer. To activate the transform tool, with the clip art or vector selected, either select transform in the left hand toolbar, right click the clip art or vector and select transform in the menu or, with the clip art or vector selected, press T on your keyboard. There are a number of visual cues to let you know that the transform tool has been selected. Firstly, as you'll notice, a number of coloured circles have appeared on the clip art boundary and around it. Also, a tool settings has appeared for the transform on the right hand side of the screen. These tool settings can be used to precisely transform the clip art or vector. You will see that I am performing this in the 3D view. ArtCam 2012 allows the transform tool to be used in either the 3D or the 2D view. In order to drag the clip art or vector around the screen, simply left click inside the boundary and move the mouse around. You can move the clip art either directly horizontally or directly vertically from its original position by holding Alt whilst using the left mouse button you will see the clip art snaps directly horizontally and vertically from its original position. In order to scale the clip art, simply left click and drag one of the orange circles in the corners of the boundary. The clip art remains in proportion but gets larger or smaller. In order to scale the clip art from the center, hold Alt whilst dragging the orange circle. In order to stretch the clip art, click and drag one of the red circles on the side of the boundary. Each red circle only stretches the clip art in one dimension. Again, in order to stretch both sides of the clip art at the same time and leave the center where it is, hold Alt whilst clicking and dragging. In order to rotate the clip art, Hold the left mouse button down whilst moving it around outside of the clip art boundary. You will see that the clip art rotates around the blue circle in its center. In order to change the axis of rotation, simply drag the blue circle anywhere else on the screen. The blue circle will snap to any other points on the boundary or of the clip art itself or of any other clip art. Then simply rotate again and you will see that the horse now rotates around Anubis's arm. To reset the axis of rotation to the centre of the horse again, drag it and it will snap to the centre of the clip art. In order to slant the horse, drag one of the red circles outside of the boundary. The one to the left of the clip art will slant it vertically and the one below the clip art or slant it horizontally. If I were to make a grave mistake and leave myself with a ridiculously slanty horse like I have just done, I can press the minus key on my keyboard to undo the last transform. If I think about it for a while and I realize that I would like a ridiculously slanty horse, I can press the plus key on my keyboard to redo the previous transform. However, for this tutorial, I would not like a ridiculously slanty horse, so I will reset it. You can also copy a clip art whilst doing any of these transforms by holding control. If I hold control and drag the clip art somewhere else on the page, you will notice that the original clip art has been copied. I would not like two horses for this tutorial, so I will delete the copy. 
I will now use a combination of these manipulations to create the effect of Anubis standing on the horse's back. Firstly, I will select the clip art, either in the boundary or the center, and press T to initiate the transform tool. Then, I can drag the horse to the bottom of the page. I'll scale him down a bit so that he's not taking up the whole page and drag him back to the center. In order to change the subject of a transform, you can simply click on another clip art's boundary, or if you can, its center, and the transform tool will remain activated. I can then drag Anubis into the center of the page, and now I need to flip him so he's facing forwards on the horse. I can use the vector editing tool, Mirror Vectors, to do this, or using the transform tool, stretch him past his opposite boundary so that he is mirrored on the page. I can now scale him down so he does not break the horse's back and stand him atop the horse. To stop using the transform tool you can either select a normal cursor from the left hand toolbar or simply click anywhere else on the page. Thank you for watching this ArtCam 2012 video tutorial. It's been a pleasure.